Hey guys, my name is and this is Carl Roll. Welcome to Sue's. I teach you how to build a Discord or Prime Music Bot for your server. Today, we are talking about stuff to do with the queue. So we're going to be expanding on the functionality within the queue, and we're actually going to be displaying it to the user as well. So, first thing we need to do is we need to come into our music.py file, and we need to come down here into our queue object, because I'm going to be adding um, a lot of functionality to this queue. One, to make the the queue display a little bit easier to work with and to just adding extra stuff for the future as well so we're pretty much uh, going to be programming more or less the rest of the queue in this so the first thing we're going to need is a well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this property above the add because that because properties should really be above methods um, but we are going to do another property we're essentially just be adding a load of properties uh, in this section uh, so self um, so we want to get the current track so if self dot q or we could actually probably do some some error handling there so if um, not self dot q then we want to raise uh, we want to raise uh, a q is empty otherwise we want to return uh, self dot q and then we want to return the uh, the index we want to return the track that's in the uh, the current index uh, so we have this self dot position and we have the queue uh, the queue is a list and the self dot position index is that list to get the currently playing track um, so cool uh, the next thing we need is uh, what I'm calling upcoming <laughs> Um, <clears throat> if I could actually spell correctly, uh, there, come on, there we go. <laughs> oh my, that's not even right. There we are. Oh my god, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Why am I like this? <laughs> um, so the upcoming is essentially a list of every track that is to come. Um, so we can do the same thing again. If not, self dot q. Um, raise q. Oh my god, I actually cannot type today. I don't know why. Q is empty, and then we can uh, return, not raise, self.q, and then we want to do self.position plus one, and then every track beyond that. So this uh, column here indicates that we are splicing the list, so in a list, say, one, two, three, uh, actually we'll have a few extra elements just so it's a bit easier to work out. If we had, say, um, <coughs> list of... Uh, two onwards that would get the second element onwards so zeroth element first element second element you end up with a list of three four five for those of you that don't know what list splicing is uh, we actually need our closing bracket back uh, so that will just get a list of tracks uh, then we want the uh, history uh, just as kind of a, a counter property I don't think this is actually ever used I could be wrong but uh, it's just a nice thing to have um, raise q is empty if not self q, and then uh, return self dot q up to self dot position. So the reason we add a plus one here is because this splice includes this index here. However, if you do up to, um, then it doesn't. So this is uh, this index onwards, and this is up to, but not included in this index. Um, just to make things a little easier. Uh, so then we're going to have also one for our length. That sentence made sense. Don't question it. <laughs> um, so this is the queue length. This is a pretty simple one. We're just going to return the uh, len of self q. We don't need to do er any error handling because if the queue length is zero, then it's zero. We just return zero and it's fine and easy and dandy. Um, and then finally, we're going to add another method we're not going to use right now, but we're going to use a method to empty the queue, or empty apparently. Um, oh my, I actually cannot type today, I do apologize for this. And then we just need to do self.queue.clear, and I'll empty the queue out. Um, so we have our new properties first, so that was there before. Uh, current track, upcoming, history, length, and empty. Uh, some of these things are going to be useful for our uh, queue command. Some of them are not, some of them are going to be useful later down the line. So, 
Uh, we need to come down to the bottom of our document here. And we need to define our command. So we're going to do commands.command name equals q u e u e. There we go. <laughs> Told you I stored it. Uh, and we want our q command self ctx. And now I don't think we need anything. I guess you could potentially do like a a number to to go up to. I guess we could do um show uh, I guess it would be like that. Show equals ten or something, I don't know. Uh we'll make that in an integer. I actually forget how much is in in the plan, but I guess that works. Um so we have player equals self dot uh, get player uh, ctx. Uh, if player dot q dot is empty, uh, we want to raise our q is empty error again. Why is that shouting at me? Okay, it was just shouting at me. This is just shouting at me for no reason. Uh, then we're going to create an embed for our information. So discord dot embed dot embed. Uh, title equals Q uh, description. Oh, no, I actually can have a description. And we're going to do ctx.author.color to make it pretty. And then time stamp equals DT. Cool, we did import that. Dot date time dot UTC now. Uh, I imported date time as DT for those of you that aren't aware. Um, so you want to just go to the top and do that. So we're going to do embed.set author. We're just going to make things uh, look a bit pretty. You don't need to do any of this really, but I'm all for the aesthetics. I didn't really focus on them in the um, in the previous series. I focused on them, well, uh, not the previous series, but the main series. I focused more on, on functionality. Uh, this is just going to make it look kind of nice. Um, so invoke by, actually I think requested by is like more used. Uh, in the field, and then you've got ctx.author.display name, and then we can have the icon URL. I think it's icon URL. Uh, ctx.author.avatar.url, and that'll make it look nice. And then we are going to add a field manually because we are actually going to um, add fields. Um, I don't know what the word is. Dynamically, I suppose. Uh, so currently playing and then value equals so we are just going to put in a um, player dot q dot current track dot title uh, so that's that first property coming in um, in and then we're going to set that in line equals false oops there we go um, and then we're going to create some some more uh, fields but only if the player.q length, there's another property of ours, is greater than one. And we want to do embed.add fields name equals we actually probably want to do some more multiple lines. Um, get out of here, tooltip. Don't need you. Uh, and then we can do next up, or you can do oncoming or something into the matter. Oh, upcoming, sorry. Uh, and then value equals a uh, new line uh, dot join. Uh, t dot title for t in player dot q dot upcoming. So there is our. Um, I suppose I suppose in a way we could, I suppose we could actually check to see if there is anything on upcoming. I guess we could do that. Um, player dot q oop, dot upcoming. It's so actually you don't need these. I'm just something like that. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what that is, that is the Walrus Operator. It's only available in Python 3.8. Had a lot of people running into problems because they didn't know it was a thing. <laughs> uh, because they're using outdated versions of Python. So make sure you're on Python 3.8 if you're going to be using that. Um, and then we just send the message. Oh wait, ctx.send embed equals embed. Uh, we do need to do some error handling. Uh, so q command dot error async def q command error self ctx exception and then if is instance exception q is empty so if our q is empty we just need to say 
uh, we just need to send a little uh, message saying the queue is currently empty and then that should in theory work um, so load up our terminal and then we do was it Python it's not dash M. I'm, I'm used to launching my own bots and I do things slightly differently. Import Discord. Mo uh, no module name Discord. That's it. Oh, yeah, because I'm using the wrong version of Python. <laughs> uh, I actually need to specify my version of Python. Yay. Imagine having to do that. Um, so we got our Wavelink node ready there. So if I do the queue now, it will just say the queue is currently empty. Um, if we actually get the bot to connect and then we actually play something uh, so if you play uh, I don't know I can't remember if I played this one or not in the series if I did I'm sorry but it's a good one all right <laughs> so we get our thing to that took a while <laughs> we get our thing to play I'm just gonna quickly grab my headphones hopefully not make too much noise just so I can actually hear what's going on uh, and just play the first one. Wow, the volume's set really high. <laughs> Good better hear myself think. Uh, so if you have to display the queue now, it won't do anything. Fantastic. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Why is that not doing anything? Oh, I know why it's not doing anything. Because we didn't make this an optional argument. <laughs> So it's currently expecting. So it's currently throwing a, um, a missing required argument error. We can't see it in here because our error handling systems here have been commented out. Um, but yeah, we didn't actually make that an optional. That was my bad. Uh, so we do actually need to close out of that and run it again. And we're going to run a different song. Again, literally have no idea which ones I've played. Um, I was actually going to look uh, that up, but I didn't get around to it. Uh, so that looks fine to me. There we go. Um, so if we run the queue now, it still isn't going to work. I'm going to quickly go and uh, debug the error. Give me one second. Oh, that was me being dumb is what happened there. So it's it's avatar URL, not avatar.url. <laughs> um, Another thing I just realised as well is that I actually haven't implemented this show. We can simply just put that uh, here, uh, so we can show the upcoming up to this value. So if if we don't pass anything in, so if we just do a plus Q, it will automatically set that to ten. Um, I guess you could put like um, description here, saying uh, showing up to next. Um, it's got to be an F string and that's got to be a comma, but then you can have like uh, show here. Give it some thousand separate just in case for some bizarre reason you want to. Actually, that, that will never be the case. You'll never uh, fit a thousand on there. Um, but yeah, I'll actually get this to the queue to work because I'm pretty sure it works now. We'll actually get the queue to work and then I'll, I'll show off what that's doing there. Okay. So Q is now, there we go, operational. So uh, showing up to the next 10 tracks. Obviously we only have one in there at the moment. Um, however, if we were to add another one, say uh, this, uh, and add that in, and then we did the Q, you can see the next up we have Easy Sunday. Um, and if we just add another one, so I don't know that one as well, because that's the only one I can remember the name of right now. Uh, oh, that doesn't look. That's an interesting stuff song. Whatever. We're, we're not going to be hearing any of these. Um, so do Q. You'll see that we have our currently playing. We have all the next up ones. However, if you were to do Q one, it would only show you the the next track so it'll, it'll show you the currently playing and the first track coming up regardless but this show allows you to control how many tracks it actually shows so uh, by default it's 10 obviously you can set that to whatever you want so it's still quite loud um, <clears throat> but yeah you could just uh, simply pass the number and it will show you that number so if you wanted to see more for example you could do that um, 
yeah, that is basically how to display the queue. Obviously, you can make it a little bit pretty. You can put the lengths and the actual numbers and everything. Um, I'm not going to bother doing that. Um, but yeah, that is a a very simple, but I think I think pretty good implementation on how to actually do a queue and how to display a queue. As always, if you have any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments below, or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. While you're in the description, I would recommend that you check out all my other social links. So if you want to f uh, follow me on Twitter or Facebook, or if you want to check out my library channel, um, which is an alternative to this one, um, then you can go in the description and have a look at those. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. If you liked it, then say hi down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, it'd be a really cool thing if you did do. But then in mind, I'd like to thank my super patrons, Dark and Jackster, and I will see you next time where we talk about, what are we talking about next time? We're talking about uh, pausing and resuming playback. So we're going to be implementing a pause and we're not actually going to be implementing a resume command. We're going to be uh, building that functionality into the play command itself. So that's going to be pretty cool. So I'll see you for that.